Hey there and welcome to the Weeb Lounge, I'm Nick, and this character spotlight is focusing on one of your starter characters, Kero, or Carol as I always say, a Neko Sundere caster DPS. All right, this is one of your starter characters, and she's going to be very, very useful to you early on, but later on, eh, maybe not so much. I'll go into that in a bit. First off, let's take a look at her skills. Her first skill, Thunderball. This is nothing special. It is a single target magic damage attack. Nothing else special with this one at all. The second skill is called Armor Down, and what this does is also a single target physical and magic defense down debuff. It's very slight, it's not that much, but hey, it's something. Something's better than nothing. Her EX skill when she comes onto the field is a magic attack power up for herself. If you get her to that 5 star or plus, that magic attack power is greatly, greatly increased. Now her Union Burst is Grim Burst. Now Grim Burst does an AoE magic attack to every single enemy on the field, but you're going to find out that it's actually a fairly weak attack, at least until you get to her 6th star uber craziness. And her 6th star uber craziness turns the Grim Burst into Abyss Burst. And basically, it's the same AoE damage, but uh, it hits an awful, awful lot harder. And it also puts this odd debuff on them, just they kind of refer to as Crisis. It keeps the enemies from gaining technique points when they're on offense for a short little bit. So it has its use, but it, I have to say, after using the character for a while, it's not something that I really notice. It's just kind of there. All right, now she does have special equipment too. This is the Chaos Grimoire. What that does is it increases the Thunderball skill. So instead of just a single target attack, when it hits, it does a little bit of splash AOE damage to whatever line that's in. And it increases the damage a little bit too. So it just makes that skill just a tad bit more effective. So let's ho hop over to the quest and just kind of see her poke around. All right, now, Carol, she is one of these characters. Like, when, when you get her at the beginning, she's going to do good. She's going to hold her own. She's going to do good. Uh, right here, of course, I've got her at six star, you know, pretty high level, pretty high gear. But you're going to find that she is like another character like Pecoline, where if you get, you know, some decent two or three star character, you're going to find out that you can really quickly replace her. And in the long term... She can be useful, but here's the thing. What I've noticed is that when she gets to that sixth star, you know, she does a lot more damage. Granted, and, you know, she's much more viable in a few groups, and yeah, you'll find her, yourself using her. You know, like here, she just wasted that second and third wave like it was nothing. I mean, granted, I'm kind of tromping through some lower level stuff, but that was just, like, quick and ridiculous, right? <laughs> But the thing is, is that even if you put her in magic damage groups, it just, she doesn't really shine that much. Even at six stars, she just doesn't have that gleam to her or whatever. You know, maybe, I don't know, she needs more specialized cat food or something. I, who the hell knows? So, sadly, I have to say that this character overall, even at six star, is not terribly important. Uh, she can do some AoE magic damage when you need some AoE magic damage at 6 star. I'm not saying that she's completely worthless by any means. You'll find a place for her for sure. But the problem is, it's few and far between. It really is few and far between. And I find myself almost hardly ever using this character. So, my advice with this character, since you know everybody gets her, it's not a matter of rolling on her or anything. My advice is to go ahead, level her up. Treat her well, and when you find other characters that can do just as good or better, it's probably best to focus your attention away and put it on whatever characters those are. When it comes time when you get advanced enough to go ahead and you know get people to six stars or whatever, Carol, you don't want to focus on her. She's 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 lower on your list. You don't want to put much attention to her until you start getting all the other six star characters taken care of because she's 
sadly just not that important in the game or at least end game even at six stars uh, she doesn't function that well in arenas uh she the clan battles and the luna towers she just kind of mess so sadly she's low on your list of priorities with that like share subscribe hit that notification button now, that's not to say that other versions of Carol don't exist. There's the New Year's, there's the Summer Edition of Carol, and they are actually far more useful and far more higher ranked in terms of being able to do everything. So keep an eye out for them, but unfortunately, the starter Carol, even at six stars, she's lackluster at best. We'll see you in the next video.